Okay, what's this? Here for the title it's Drone Rider. And Drone Rider is actually a good title in my application. My plan was to explore the beautiful scenery here and catch a random DJI pilot whilst flying here. Or maybe just visit him and chat a little bit with him. But the reality is, I until now I didn't find anybody else than my own drone. The sky, at least here in this rural area is less populated than I thought, so I've still not given up on finding some random pilots. It is a 3D printed case for this thousand dollar handheld radio with a SIM card in it, but it's more than this, it's a bundle, it's a good app and the cloud solution that they provide and it just works for four to five hours of battery runtime. If this is not enough for me, I could easily run a USB port to the bike here. So this is more for police departments, for fire departments, for planning larger scale rescue operations where a private drone might be an issue or where you just want to be clear with the airspace around you so that hobby drones don't interfere with full-size airplanes or copters. A few years ago this whole mountain was burning. A large wildfire and a lot of full-size air traffic, a lot of copters and planes. So in this scenario they would have not allowed any drone of course and with such a device rescue operations can be held safe with minimum effort because this is really easy to operate. It is not a device that the drone enthusiast will buy to find drone bodies, I suppose. This thing has really three modes of operation. The Autark mode it's in now, where it will scan for drones and use the SIM card in it, the LTE modem, to upload detections directly in the cloud with all variables that it catches, like drone pilot location, drone location speed, uh, altitude, serial number of the drone, type of the drone and so forth, so really a lot of data. The second mode of operation is connected via Bluetooth to a phone and the app on the phone does the job, so you don't need LTE in there. And the third mode of operation would be a USB connection to a laptop or also to the phone where the power supply is not internal but via the USB and also the data connection is via USB. So plenty of options. The last one is maybe for a more fixed operation in your fire truck with USB to a mission laptop or something like this. You have an account on their cloud and you can view it also online. So you don't need the app, you can go to your laptop or PC and also just watch the thing online, what it discovered. So lots of options, very, very good overview. The app and the online portal is designed minimalistic but with good features and good handling so no complaints there. On my detections I see my DJI E3 drone flight, test flight that I just did. You can replay it and then you see a scary lot of data. Like you see the altitude, 33 meters here. Above sea level we started 440 here. Yeah, that's where I landed. It also shows the speed, right? 7 meters per second MPS. Location, height. But here you see the operator location. You can open it in Google Maps. And if I switch to satellite view, I see that it's exactly on our terrace where I stand the red pin. So. It's very, very accurate. Of course, the DJI drones have good GPS. That's the nice packaging it comes in. Got a QR code, help link, USB cable. And this is a tiny transmitter. It looks like a custom board. It has a screw mount. It has two cable interfaces. And also these two cables. Little. 3D printed casing, a battery, little USB chip. So this needs to be soldered to your flight controller on your DIY drone and it will with these two antenna ports, UFL antennas, with this here. It will transmit on 2.4 GHz the remote ID information of your DIY drone, which there would be many, but honestly I have no intention to 
put the remote ID on my drones, unless we are forced to do so in the future. So yeah, that's it all ready for my little review of the drone rider. It's also a good sign that this review is short. There's not a lot to explain. It has a lot of functions, but in the application it's quite easy. I didn't test the range. It's said to be around five kilometers under best circumstances. A lot of airspace, unless you have a really large scale uh, rescue operation, five kilometers of range should be sufficient. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out my ride and fly videos where I drive with this bike to my scenery locations and fly my drones there. Check out my drone reviews on my channel. You see a lot of different reviews, e-scooters, mountain bikes, cameras, 3D printers, everything that's interesting to me. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.